Hi, and welcome to Jalopy. Um, Jal Jalopy? Here we run into the place where I grew up reading a lot and not talking to people, and so... A little bit shaky on pronunciation of a lot of words. Like, pronunciation. Um, so, basically, it's the end. It, it, it is, the Soviet Union is tailing off. Um, the, the Berlin Wall has dropped just about this time. People have a little bit more freedom of movement. And, um, you are going on a road trip. Um, in your old, um, East German automobile, two cycle engine, you mix oil in with the fuel. Basically, the way this game works is you find stuff by the side of the road and you carry it you find stuff by the side of the road or you buy contraband and sneak it through the checkpoints and go sell it at the, the gas stations to make up money so you can repair your vehicle and afford a room in the motels and pay for gas and oil so you can keep the car running to go to the next station. Um, it's kind of like a survival game of managing your resources, being careful about, like, do you drop money on upgrades? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a little bit careful there. And, uh, yeah, just, so, um, balancing between, like, do I take the rough, rocky, potholed road, or do I just, like, take the long way around and put more miles on the car between destinations? It's, it's a weird game. Um, I was talking about it online, and someone was like, so, we're talking about a game that looks like it would fit in on a PS2, but with PS1 performance, and I was like, I mean... It's close to PS1 performance. Like, I, I mean, I think I had the graphic settings just in a not a good place, but um, it was, it was, I'd say it runs all right with the, with the settings where I got it. And um, it's just this weird little survival game in this very, Uh, low quality car, I guess. Um, I mean, it's a nice car. It's a fun car. It's it's also not really a fancy car. It, it is in game. It is the Leica 601 Deluxe. It it is kind of a no trademark version of the Trabant 601. It's not much of a car, um, but it'll do, slowly, uh, it, it takes a while to get up to like 60 kilometers an hour, but you know, you get there. Um, and I think it's probably just about enough stalling, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna start a new game. I did make some progress, but I kind of ran out of money and didn't know how to proceed, so I'm just gonna restart. Um, the default starting situation is the tutorial where you build the car. I'm just gonna skip the tutorial and go straight to the game. It's actually a little bit advantageous to skip the tutorial anyway, because like, it means that you have 
some extra fuel and spare tires that you can carry with you and that's real useful but yeah uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and be bringing along my uncle who I think is uh the game is there's some bug in the game where the the mouse sensitivity is messed up. Going into the settings real quick usually fixes it. Okay. So let me go ahead and turn off the lamp, turn off the light. As we are setting out. Okay. Uncle Lutfi. Good morning. So, shall we give our journey another attempt? Another try today? Yes, I will take my uncle with me on this trip. All right. So, go ahead, open the door, pop the hood latch. All right. What we have here, a lovely little machine. We have 10 liters of, of fuel with two-stroke oil. We have a nice 12-volt uh, lead-acid battery. We have three-tenths of a liter of water in the water tank to uh, clean the windshield if we go through puddles. We've got a uh, nice little ignition to coil. Uh, stock engine, the standard small two-stroke engine. Two cylinder will do zero to 80 kilometers an hour in 22 and a half seconds. Uh, 100 kilometer an hour. Oh, sorry, I just got a text message. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, I will go ahead and check the thing that I got a text message about. I will be right back. And I'm back. All right. So, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. yes, everything looks good. Okay. Um, yeah. So, it's got a carburetor, air filter, engine block, ignition coil, fuel tank, battery, and water tank. So, I'm going to go ahead inside. I'm going to grab... Fuel can, two-stroke oil, and a water bottle. I will go ahead and top up the... Actually, let me... Uh, let me start by uh, putting some essentials... What are you doing, game? Into the trunk. All right. Okay. All right. Have a nice full bottle of water. 
We can do a lot of cleaning our windshield. If the need should arise. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So we want we we'll, we'll want to have a jack, and if we can have a couple spare tires, that would be good. These are soft compound tires, so they wear out pretty quick on these journeys through uh, through the world. All right, so I will stick these in here. You can carry two spare tires and various amounts of stuff. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and grab an engine repair kit. If the thing starts acting up, or more likely, if I bounce off a wall or something, I have a way to fix. Okay. So, now we get ready for our journey. Uncle Lufty. The keys are just above you in the sun visor. Thank you, Uncle. Now, before we get started, I do want to look at our guidebook. All right. DDR, Auto Atlas. Day zero. I don't actually know what all these symbols mean. Let me see if it actually says in here what these symbols mean. No, it doesn't say anything. All right. Well, that is some ominous sounds from over where I live. Anyway, we are going to, I think we're going to, I forget where we're going to, like Dresden or something. So there's a, 350 kilometer route. It has a gas station on the way. It's sunny. Looks like there's a uh, pull away, I guess. Or maybe there's lots of traffic. I don't know. 280 kilometer route in the rain. 280 kilometer route with potholes. Let's go with 350. Be a little bit nicer. And as you can see, the game enforces you have to pick a route by. Uh, leaving gate closed until you do. So, okie dokie. So we start the engine. Volume in this game is pretty quiet, so. I'm turning up on my end. Let me know if it's too quiet to hear for you. It's just keyboard and mouse, and the vehicle control is all keyboard, so. Uncle Lufty. And so begins our journey. Head towards Dresden. We'll be traveling the Autobahns for this first part. Should give you a chance to get to grips with the Leica. As you can see, I am not very good at traffic laws, but hey, no worries. Tank on the plinth in there. Hmm. 
Alright. Down the highway. Ah, it is good to be at the road again. Such a long time since I traveled outside of East Berlin. Even longer leaving East Germany. Oh wow, there are potholes. Mm. You can make it up the hill. Just a few more meters. Uh, there is another pothole. Let me uh, just swing over to the other lane. Road, so I'll bring you up to speed on how this works. Travelers can only call themselves such if they remain in motion. To achieve this, we must learn to live off the fruits the road presents us. Interesting idea. of the road come to us in many forms. An abandoned car could provide us with much needed replacement tires. Or perhaps a crate but the side of the road will allow us to trade for fuel. Whatever we need she shall provide. We just need faith. Oh hey, there we go. wasn't responding to my key presses, trying to turn off the engine. There we go. All right. First fruits of the road. Let's just stick it in the trunk and we will check it out when we have a moment. Hmm. Okay. We don't have a, clear, a big enough clear space. Ah, there we go. Ah. Alright. There we go box full of stuff. And with 
that, we shall uh, hopefully pay for our continued travels. Tank Stella, we might uh, find a gas station because it mentioned. Wait. Ooh. Okay, I am pulling off by the side of the road for a second here. Because I just got another box. gas station right here so okay so here I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how commerce works in Jalopy you have a wallet that you uh, leave in the glove compartment wow there's two boxes here all right um, And uh, you take whatever supplies you've managed. And um, okay, so to yeah, yeah I want to pick this up. Okay. No, that was the box I saw. It was just the one. Okay. All right. Uh, bidi 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 bidi. So. Normally you just go ahead and drive in. I'm not going to bother because I'm just uh, I'm just sneaking in here to go ahead and sell some stuff. So uh, the way it works is. Hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick whatever you need up off the shelves and place it through this window. When you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. That's why I grabbed my wallet real quick. Alright. So, I'll go ahead and drop these two boxes here. And... Tear open the box. Ooh, we have some wine we can sell. All right. As you can see, when you're selling stuff, those numbers are negative because you are gaining money, not uh, paying it. It's very strange. Oh, oops. Okay. Do you have a crowbar? Because I need a crowbar. Hmm. Don't know why it's not letting me pick that up. I'll go ahead and sell the last bottle of wine. See if I can pick up that crowbar because I want to buy it. <sighs> Size. Okay. Okay. And game is being a little bit finicky on me. Okay. 
Okay. Well, whatever. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can just stick this in my trunk, and I'll deal with it when I uh, when I get to town. It's a little bit of a wonky game, and uh, yeah, it that's a little bit bothersome, but uh, I'm having a really good time with it, and uh, yeah. yeah, let me go ahead. If you press the Q button with the wallet, it just automatically teleports back into the car, so it's a little bit convenient from that perspective. So, let's see if this will fit. Okay. All right. Maybe there's some repairs I can do, and then that'll give me a little bit more space with which I can hold this. Ah. Sorry, this is inventory management. This is another part of the game is inventory management. I'm sure I might have bumped into something, and if I did, then boom, this this will fix it. Ah. Oh, okay. So yeah, everything is just a little bit worn. stuff up. And yeah. A little bit of distance to Dresden. Right, I need to actually tell the game I am driving now. Yeah. So, yeah, this is uh, this is Jalopy. Um, you are scavenging your way across a number of countries from jurisdiction to jurisdiction in a tiny little two-stroke powered motor vehicle. too far to Dresden from here. I went a fair ways before I hit this gas station. So, might be a little distance, but hopefully not far. Mm -hmm. 
The fruits of the road come to us in many forms. Uh, yes, you've told me. a little bit. That's not a good life strategy. Ah. Now I have a tank slapper going on. Yeah. Digital controls for a car. It's very PS1, really. And it's not really the most comfortable. But I think, if I am not mistaken, that is the town up ahead. I should turn my headlights like a reasonable driver. Ah. Are you noticing the changes in scenery? We're entering what is known locally as the Black Triangle. doesn't have a lot of power to get up a hill. Setting to see all the pollution here caused by industrialization. It wasn't this way when I first passed through this region. I think I see the motel over here to the left. Oh, oop. I want to swing around to the right and see if I can find the shop. We'll go to the motel afterwards.
Hello. Hi, Matilda. Uh, welcome. I didn't know it's done. Hmm? I didn't know it's done. Ah, lovely. Uh, and you're driving in a car. Yes. This is the the wonderful little Leica 601 Deluxe. Um, which is a sort of, like, proxy it's, for... Hmm? It's a broom broom machine. It is a broom broom machine. It is that classic broom broom machine that in our universe is called the Trabant. Ah. You appear to have an old man in tweed next to you. Yes, that is, that is your uncle in this game. Ah. My favorite uncle, Uncle Tweed. Uh, he has a name. I don't. I don't know it right don't. now. Huh? Okay, you're parked. I was about to say, don't just turn around while driving. <laughs> I, I I'm backing up to 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 uh, the uh, fuel tank for this car is under the hood, so I want to um ah. park it with the uh, with the hood next to the pump, so I can uh, easily refill. You're being all cunning. Yes. A cunning back. Yes. All right. So, oh, I completely forgot to actually open the hood. Um, what do I'm we... not so cunning back. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Right. I'll just leave hat the door back, open. But he's wearing a hat. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So I have two liters of. I'm kind of really far away. I don't know if the if the pump will reach. Let's... Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. It won't. All right. I guess time to get back in the car and scooch it just a little bit. Scoochy, scoochy. So what's the, what's the aim of this game? I haven't been watching because I've been cooking. Ah, uh, so the idea is, um, like, travel has, travel has, uh, don't worry, Uncle Lufty, everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, travel has recently been de-restricted a bit in, uh, the for in, I guess the about to be former Soviet Union, and uh, ah. so you get to go on this long road trip that uh, your uncle has been dreaming about for a long time. I barely moved any closer, didn't I? Um, and uh, close enough. And you're going in this old car that, uh, you, uh, that your uncle has. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and wash off some of this muck. Sounds good. I've got my pasta in front of me. So I might mute myself in a bit when I start eating, but it's also very hot, so I can't mm. start eating it yet. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Only the one side of the car was was actually dirty. Okay. Go ahead and put this down. Uh, right. So. So basically, you're trying to get across uh, to your destination on not actually very much money. So, one of the things you have to rely on is what your uncle refers to as the fruits of the road, which are various items found sitting by the side of the road, abandoned cars, boxes that someone dumped off out of their car, 
And, uh, yeah, you... Hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick whatever you need off the shelves and place it through this window. Alright. When you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. Okay. Um, Alright. So I want an engine repair kit. I might want to get some tires. Tires are helpful. Yes. It, it means that your car keeps moving. Eh. Um... I have a couple spares, so I can I can hold off a little bit on getting tires. So let me go ahead and grab a crowbar, because if you happen to have a crowbar, then you can open a crate. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens that by the side of the road, next to a gas station, there was a crate sitting on the ground, all locked up. I want to get some harder compound tires so that they last a long time, but, uh, yeah. Mm, okay. Let me see if anything needs repair under the hood, and then... This is the inventory management part of the game. I will go ahead... Right. That's air filter fixed. Engine fixed. Carburetor fixed. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right. This kit is mostly used up, so I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and sell the remnants of this uh, repair kit back to the store. Uh, they don't have any more. Oh well. I'll get a new repair kit at some point. Um, but, more importantly, there's a crate that I found by the side of the road. Nobody knows what's in it, but I'm about to Tear off this lock, this padlock on it, find out, and sell it to the shop. Because that is how you survive in Jalopy. Is you uh, find stuff by the side of the road, and you turn it into money to continue your journey. Medicine! Wow. Right. I'm carrying a bunch of things, so I can't actually... Uh, you know what, I'm going to put away my wallet for a second, because I can just run back out and stick that in and pick it up back out of the car. I'm going to stick the crowbar in here. Mm. So basically, this is a 2x game. Yes! It's yes. an explore and exploit game, but not expand and exterminate. Nope. It, it, it is just the explore and exploit. Hmm. Alright. As opposed to Mario, which is a different kind of 2x game because it explore and exterminate. Mm hmm. Yeah. So. I'm going to sell off all these meds to this kind shopkeeper and get a little bit more money to continue my journey with. One of the things I like is in Undertale, like nobody but the really weird Temi shop will buy um Yeah. Will actually like <laughs> buy stuff from you. Yeah, they're they they they're store owners like how often do you get like someone walking into an arby's and being like hey can i sell you this pile of of th this this i've killed a bunch of cows can i sell can you I this sell beef you meat? for 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 a burger no like like people's reaction to that would be what most of the time like if like maybe if like they're they're in a good mood they could be like uh, sh sure? 
but mostly no. Like, I remember Eddie Izzard did a thing where he, like, um, I need to add oil to the fuel. Uh, anyway, Eddie Izzard did a thing where he did a series of barter trades, um, to buy, like, lunch. And it's like, you need a bag of potato. It's like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get you, like, one of these potato things in exchange for a bag of, a, a new bag of potatoes. He's like, all right. And then he went to the people who were selling potatoes and was like, eh, I could, I could go for, like, a book. And it's like, okay. And then he went to, like, the bookstore and it was like, you know, I, I'd be willing to trade for this thing you brought that was just a random object or whatever. <laughs> and he's like, cool. And so that's how he got his, his lunch. He did this series of trades like a JRPG. I'm going to rearrange things a little bit because I know I can stick the crowbar on top of the jack. There. And that will leave a little bit more room in, st in the trunk for stuff. And I completely forgot that I need to put oil in the fuel. <laughs> it's a two-stroke engine. Like, um, you, you, you mix oil in with the gasoline because you, that's how it's designed. And the way the game is set up, if you mix in a little bit of oil, it runs better, but the engine wears faster. If you mix in a lot of oil, it runs worse, but the engine wears slower. So I, I'm just going to load up a rich oil mix. Because, I don't know, less wear seems like a nice thing. Okay. Okay. I'm going to clean the front bumper real quick because I apparently missed it completely when I was cleaning up the car. Uh, Alright. Drop that back in there. I think I'm all good. So, let me drive around to the motel. engine first. I blame Tom Scott. Mm. What for? I don't know, but he's done enough that I can probably find something. Fair enough. <laughs> that, that seems fairly irrefutable, as logic goes. There's the motel. Park out front. Where's the motel? Ah, here it is to our left. Yay. And now you get to see my epic parking skills. Hey. I'm just gonna go ahead and climb this curb. Scoot in. I'm vaguely near the building, good enough. Okay, good, let's check in. <laughs> I'm not as hungry as I thought I was when I started this very large bowl of pasta. Mmm, yeah, that happens sometimes. Alright. Okay, lights are off, radio's off, not gonna end up with a drained battery when I wake up. Uh, yeah. And that is my uncle walking into the uh, motel. And it's 20 marks to for a room here. Welcome, will you be staying with us tonight? It's 20 for the room. 
You'll be staying in room 1B, just down the hall. We kindly ask you not to disturb other guests during your stay. Uh, Uncle Lufty, come on, you can lead me to, to our room. Okay. I'm going to close the door behind us because I am a polite person. Uh, right. And down here at the end of the hall is room 1B. I'm going to uh, get ready for bed. This has no mechanical effects, it's just messing around with the thing in the bathroom. And sleep. <laughs> <laughs>